everyone. Welcome to the Ortega home and welcome to Gigi's kitchen. Ah, oh, well there you are. Welcome. Today our menu is spinach stuffed chicken breast. So that's our first order of business. And then we're going to do quinoa mac and cheese. And then we're going to have a fabulous and it's going to be a citrus vinaigrette um, salad, romaine salad. And then I've got a surprise dessert of reveal when we're done. So All right. Good. Yeah. Please, we start with what? Affirmation. Affirmation. Yeah. So we're going to go back to our affirmation because it's so important. I am happy. I am happy. I am healthy. I am healthy. I am wealthy. I am wealthy. I am love. I am love. I am secure. I am secure. I am worthy. I am worthy. I am positive. I am positive. I am blessed. I am blessed. I am grateful. I am grateful. I am beautiful. I am handsome. <laughs> <laughs> I am confident. I am confident. I am courageous. I am courageous. And I am excited about today. And I am excited about today. Good. And I am hungry today. <laughs> He's going to have to wait a little bit because we're going to be taking you through how to cook this and we're going to do it a little bit faster for you today because we've pre-recorded a few little things but you also of course will have the menu so you'll be able to follow through and the actual steps, the ingredients and then also the directions. So we're going to take you through all of that. Everybody's been asking me how can you get all my recipes? You can tell I have built quite a recipe book. Well you can get them inside of Elevated Legacy and you can get them for free right now. Yeah, just like mom said, you can get it free right now at ElevatedLegacy.com. All you got to do is come down here to the bottom and get started right here. And then once you click on getting started, you're going to see an area for a coupon code. You can go ahead and put in positive vibes just like that. Apply the coupon code. And just like that, as you can see, the coupon code positive vibe gives you a free 30 day trial. You pay absolutely nothing when you get started. You proceed to checkout and you go inside of Elevated Legacy. Once you sign up for free, you'll have a login just like this at elevatedlegacy.com forward slash login. You'll go ahead and click on login. Once you log into the back office, you'll see all the different areas right here. What you'll do is you'll go to the Elevated Legacy University. Once you go inside of the Elevated University, you'll go to your Elevated Courses. Click on that. Once you click on the Elevated Courses, you'll land on this page right here and you click on Everything is Better in Gigi's Kitchen. As you can see, once you click on that, you're going to go into Gigi's entire cooking course and recipes. And you're going to come down here and click on any of the lessons that you want. They have a bunch of amazing recipes that you've missed out on so far. So let's say, for example, you went on Gigi's Tasty Turkey Burgers right there. And as you can see, there's a video in here, a full-on 22-minute video that you'll get access into for the Gigi's Tasty Turkey Burgers. And this is like this for every single recipe that you'll have access to. And then you'll just scroll down here below, and you'll always have the different documents that you need right here. As you can see, Gigi's Turkey Burgers. We'll just go ahead and click on that. Boom, and there you can see it. There's the document right there, Gigi's Famous Turkey Burgers. And just like this show you're watching here right now, you're going to have the same documents for this show right here and right now that you're watching. Before we start, though, we've got a couple of announcements. And a lot of you always ask me, what are some of the books that I read? And I think it was Ida May that had a question in there, do you ever feel like you're invisible this week? And so I wrote to you, Ida May, on that, and it was a great question. This is a fabulous book called The Uncommon Leader, and I'll give you the link to that. I got this on Amazon as well. Of course, I think we all order on Amazon because it's just so much more convenient, but this book will help you so much to get through those moments. So I think this will really help you and help everybody out there. So that will help you gain that confidence and not feel so invisible. So. A lot of you know that I started this journey for me personally because 18 months ago I was uh, not very healthy and was searching for healthy ways to eat, which is what I'm showing you today so that you're getting the protein you need and the proper balance of carbohydrates and at the proper balance of every single nutrition that you need. So that's what we're working on today as well. And you'll see in the menus, you'll see the breakdown of all of the calorie counts and the protein and the carbs and everything that you're supposed to have in your menu. So I'm very excited to share that with you today. And uh, everybody's always saying how young I look, so I always love to give Mary Kay a plug. And this is one of the other products that we use. As a matter of fact, all of the guys here in my house and Vince, when he comes to visit, uses this and it's a biocellulose mask. So if you want a mini facelift, 
this is what you need. This is what makes you look young. Um, don't you love it? I love it. And it's relaxing. And your mom, when your mom comes over. Yeah, oh yeah. What does she think of it? She just loves it. Relaxing, I yeah. I know. So you guys, if you're not doing it, um, then you need to buy this from a consultant in your area. If you don't have a consultant, go out to MaryKay.com and put in your zip code and you'll find a consultant in your area. We cannot live without this. And mm -hmm. then we have another announcement of our Gigi oh, winner yeah. of the apron that Vince is wearing today. And <laughs> the winner is Patrice Helms. Woo. I'm, I love all of the pictures. Patrice, you rocked it out. The, all, of, all of the menus that we've done and all the pictures that you have posted. Oh my gosh, thank you so much for doing that. And it just goes to show that you are changing the hearts of your family. And that just means the world to me because your health is your wealth. So many of you have done such an incredible job. And I appreciate you oh, so absolutely. much for that because you're really taking it to heart. So this will be mailed to you. We're going to need your address. So if you can private message me, I will make sure that this goes in the mail to you on Monday with a personal message for me. When we launched the show, we had 200 viewers and now we're up to almost 1500 so congratulations wow. we're so excited to have you as our part of our gg um, family um so that's very exciting um and i have a joke and i know vince loves my jokes so why is the chef so mean i don't know she beats the eggs and whips the cream <laughs> <laughs> That is funny. I think that's funny considering today I'm feeding eggs and whipping cream. Okay. Okay. You're a meanie. So back to the menu. <laughs> back to the menu again. You know, I'll just give you a quick recap. <clears throat> First thing you got to do is in the skillet, you've got to cut it up, of course, and it'll tell you what to do. And then you want to go ahead and you want to fry it up. And that's what we did over here. Oops, that's burning. Be careful. <laughs> These things happen in Gigi's kitchen too. Uh, when we're chatting, it can get a little bit too hot. But over there, you'll see that we cut up the bacon and we already sauteed the bacon and you want to make it crispy. Now, the next thing that you want to do is that you want to take the cut up onion, which it'll tell you what to do. And I've already got it all in here. And and the garlic so it'll tell you get your onion and garlic in the bacon fat over medium high for two to three minutes stirring frequently until the onion is tender so that's what Vince is going to do next because your health is your wealth so if you want to be super careful you can cut off all the fat off of the bacon and then just use coconut oil or olive oil just to saute the bacon. Those are done, and the reason why you know that they're done is the recipe calls for them to be okay, because remember, they're gonna be cooking a little bit more inside of the chicken when it goes back into the pan. The onions and the garlic mixed together there. You wanna go ahead and you wanna mix the spinach, the egg. So this spinach goes in, and remember, in the recipe, it'll tell you to squeeze out all of the water out of the spinach, whether you choose to use a canned spinach or a frozen spinach. So make sure that all the moisture is gone from it. So you can tell it just reduces down to that. You could even cook up, you know, fresh spinach if you prefer, but it will reduce down to this. Even if you've got a big old batch of it. And so it doesn't look all that appetizing, but it tastes very good. Salt, a little bit of pepper. Dump that in there. And then your thyme leaves, you're gonna dump that in there. And then your egg, dump that in there. Then your cheese. And you can put any cheese in there. It calls for Italian cheese, but if you have a preference of cheese, then just put in there what you like. Virgin olive oil is the best one that you could use the cheese makes it thicker and you want it to be this consistency because when you stuff the chicken you don't want it spilling out of the chicken okay so now we're going to put our little slit in that remember now the thicker side not over here the thicker side of the chicken three inch slit or so and you want to cut into it so it doesn't come out see like that Stuff it down inside of there, all that yummy stuff, mm. and really press it in there. I'm excited for these. <laughs> You'll love them. 
all this healthy stuff too. Mm -hmm. Onions are so good for you. Garlic is so good for you. Health benefits. They're actually um, cancer preventatives. Onions. Garlic, another very good one. Okay, that's it. And see, you could pretty much squeeze it like that. And if that much comes out of it, just get rid of it. Then you wouldn't have to put a toothpick in it. See what I mean? Okay, so this is how it would look. I toothpick it because, see, I, I don't want any of this coming out. So I just do one toothpick here, one toothpick there. Cool. Okay. We're going to slap them on the glue. Ryan Pan. Yeah, so we'll do it's this ready. one so they can see, and then I'll cut the other ones later. All right. All right. Ready? Ready. Mm -hmm. It's going to sizzle, sizzle. Yeah, don't move it. And don't move it. Minutes. Don't move it. Do not move it because <laughs> it otherwise you're going to have it's going to stick to the pan. You want it to get a crust underneath and then you want to flip it because right. if not, it's going to tear away from the bottom of the pan and it's going to mess it all up. So, and you always want to cook it on the like that. 10 minutes or so. Well, we're at eight minutes now, so let's see what we have. We'll turn it over. Oh, that's perfect. Okay. Eight minutes on this heat. Yeah, so it's great. What heat are you on? I'm on. Uh, it says medium high, but I was actually on medium, as you can see. And that's that's another thing, as Joe was saying. Everybody knows their uh, GG. <laughs> everybody knows their own uh, stove. So uh, you know, if you have electric heat or gas, and, and it depends. So this one we're kind of used to. We like gas. So now. The next step, because we've got it already turned for the other eight minutes, is we're going to cover it and then we're going to cook it for another 10 to 20 minutes. So you'll want to kind of watch it depending again on your stove. So you got to turn it down to low to medium. And then just put it in my hand and just look at how beautiful it looks. All right, get it down to low to medium. Uh huh. And you're going to cover that cover up. Cover that up. Okay, so, ooh, look at that. Now that is a finished product. Yeah, delicious. Okay, you hear that? Ooh. There we go. Yum. All right, that will do the rest. Now we're on to Gigi's Kitchen baked quinoa mac and cheese. I bet you've never had that before. Of course, you'll have all of the ingredients inside of Elevated Legacy, but the first thing that we want to do, and we're using the fabulous pressure cooker, and it's going to cook quickly. So we're going to go ahead and put that in here. We're already put in the we just stir that around for five minutes and again what we're looking for is for the onions to be opaque your garlic So we're going to put in our quinoa, just one cup of quinoa, and then another half of a cup. We love these one cup dishes. We'll be adding the water, three cups of water. How much total? Three. Three cups of water. Three cups? Mm hmm. Just asking for three cups of water. And then the salt, the paprika, and the pepper. And all those measurements are in the recipe. Dump all that in. Stir that around. And risotto, and it will cook it away. It's going to kick it in. Make sure that we've got this under pressure. Put it over to the pressure, like keeping the pressure in. And this is what it'll do. It's going to go round and round. 
and it's pressurizing the pot. So First of all, we gotta depressurize. So you gotta. Some of you probably saw this on the last show. So if you have low ceilings, just put a towel over it, and when all that steam is gone, then you can open it. Otherwise, it'll explode all over your ceiling, <laughs> and you don't want that to happen. So while we're doing that, we're mixing up the eggs and the milk. We're going to be adding that into the mixture and also we're we'll adding in the cheese. And there we go. You have perfect quinoa. You see all those little onions and garlic in there? See, it's just absolutely perfect. Six minutes. Isn't that amazing? Six minutes. So now what we're going to do we're going to add the eggs into it and the milk. That goes right in there. And then you add in your cheese. This is so good. I'm going to turn that off again and then hit this. And it's going to show you six minutes no matter what. But you've got to just watch it for three minutes and then we'll force it when it shows countdown to three then I'll just go ahead and I'll force it I'll just stop it and then I'll depressurize it mm. and do it again <laughs> do first, again the, do first, again. the first taste <laughs> wait <laughs> we're teasing you guys first taste okay. <laughs> you want a mac and cheese Quinoa. Mm. Quinoa. Quinoa. Quinoa, mac and cheese. Is that the bomb? That is good. Now we're making the orange vanilla vinaigrette dressing. And of course, all of the directions are here on how to make the vinaigrette dressing. And this is one of my newest favorite toys, the Vitamix. <laughs> and this is going to make this dressing, and it's going to be phenomenal. So we're going to start with the oranges. And of course, it'll tell you to have them, peel them, seed them and all of that and then the vinegar the orange uh, the apple cider vinegar and then this has got one and a half teaspoons of vanilla extract it's got honey and lemons peeled half and seeded a dash of hot sauce your favorite thing okay. and then it's got a quarter teaspoon of salt and an eighth teaspoon of black pepper and one and a half cups of extra virgin olive oil will be added at the end once we pulverize these so that's what it's saying here is to put all the oranges vinegar vanilla, honey, he uh, lemon, hot sauce, salt and pepper into the Vitamix container in the order listed and firmly secure the lid. So it says to select variable ones, which is what we're doing here. And then we're just going to let it rip. Okay. And then we can increase it slowly to variable four because that will pulverize all of this. So it won't be like gritty in the salad. Okay. So we're going to dump it all in. If I can get it out of there. There. There's all of that. And then we're going to put all of this because I pre mixed all of this in here. So that's those. And then you add the oil last. So we're going to put the top back on this. This makes all kinds of great smoothies. But you got to make sure that this lid is tight on there. Okay. And then let me just show you here. It's got different settings, one, two, three, four, all the way through 10. So we're gonna start at one, and then we're gonna increase it up to four. Okay, are we ready? Let's see what we got. Okay, so we're gonna hit it to one, and we're gonna let it rip. And then up here, I'm going to take the plug out and then you slowly put the oil in. I imagine on variable one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Seems risky. I know, right? <laughs>
right, everybody, I'm setting up the romaine lettuce. So we've got romaine lettuce, we've got pine nuts, and we've got cranberries, sliced apple. Just fan it out, make it look pretty, and then just sprinkle some feta cheese on top or whatever cheese you like. Go that over the top. I just want to get yourself a nice little drizzler. <laughs> just like that. And this dressing is just divine. Yummy? Mm -hmm. Do you want to put a scoop of that in the middle of the plate? Like that? If the guys might want a bigger scoop. Now you go over here and you grab one of these yummy pieces of chicken and you set that down on top. That looks like it's fit for a guy. Then you get some broccoli or any green that you like and just put that on the side. My guys like broccoli. I like their greens. So we'll put that on the side. Then put it on that little charger. Make it look pretty. And then here's their beautiful salad. And that is the dressing that we made ourselves. You don't have to buy it at the store and it will last you forever. And when you think about this, if you broke it down per plate, it's probably only going to cost you maybe $10 a plate. Isn't that amazing? So cooking at home, you guys, your health is your wealth. It's the best thing to do, cooking at home for your family. And then what I'll do with all the leftovers, because we always make more, as you saw how much we made, I'll break all of this up into these compartments. So mac and cheese will go here, the broccoli will go here, and the chicken will go here. And just like I showed you last time, then we'll close up the lid and we'll put a GG kitchen sticker on the front and then that'll be for my mother-in-law and she will love me for that. So there's my GG kitchen sticker and then I'll write on the outside what it is and she loves it. She calls me every week and she goes, thank you, Miha. So it's giving her full balance of the proper food and her salad would go in a separate container, the round containers that I used the last couple of weeks that you saw. Okay, so what we're gonna do for an after dinner drink instead of like a dessert, we're gonna do chocolate almond protein cocoa. And we're gonna do it the old fashioned way. We're gonna do it on the stove. Cause that's what we used to do growing up. And so what I did though was I combined all of these ingredients. It says the first seven, but it's really the first eight. So the unsweetened almond milk, cup of water, four scoops of Hughes protein, or Huel actually, it's not Hughes, Huel. Um, awesome stuff. And then the agave, agave, I should say nectar. Then the cacao powder. And of course I got you that link as well. And then we've got the pure vanilla extract I put in, a pinch of cinnamon, and then an eighth of a teaspoon of sea salt. That's what's in here already. So I'm gonna whisk that around. We're gonna warm that up. That's already all in here. And then when that's all warmed up and bubbled up, then we'll add the other items. Well, now, look at this. My honey here. gets to enjoy what we did together. All right, let's get into it here. Tell me what you think. I'm gonna Let's get up it. into it too. I'm gonna put in some of this. Mmm, that's really good. What do you think of Gigi's kitchen? Mmm. <laughs> I'm fortunate, I always in Gigi's kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> your health is your wealth, right? That's yeah. right. And I grew and up how in about it. You grew up in it, Vince? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So let's see what we're working with. Let's see what we're working with here. Oop. Just do a little bit of each. Mm-hmm. Y'all better make this, that's for sure. <laughs> it's so good. What's your favorite? I just, I've never had stuffed chicken like this. Like you've never, I've never had you do it that way. I love it. Yeah. It's just creamy. The texture is perfect, you know? Right. Mm-hmm. You just haven't lived mm -hmm. <laughs> around here for a while. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What do you think of the- Did you try the salad yet? How mm. about the quinoa mac and cheese? Mm-hmm. That's good too. Yeah, what do you think about that, Ben Senior? 
the quinoa. I like the cheese. You like it? It's really good. It has a distinct taste, but really good taste. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna try this salad here. Get a little of the, what's the juices here you put on it again? It's an orange vinaigrette. Ooh, let's try that. Homemade. Mmm. You like it? Yes. You know how vinegar is a little tart? This is just sweet. And you'll love it. And then it's not like a like a sweet um over over sweet. It's perfect. Can you taste the tangy in it? Mm-hmm. I'm trying mine. See what I think. Okay, let's see. Because you like hot. So it's got a little mm -hmm. hot in there. Yeah, you can taste it in there. It's good. It mixes perfect with those little cranberries in there. Yeah. And if you wanted it a little hotter. You could always add some more hot sauce to this. So, was it regular so tobacco? You could do that, huh? Mm, that's money. Not good? Mm hmm. Yeah, it's just the hot sauce that Vince likes so much. It's crazy that all this stuff's healthy because it doesn't taste like yeah. you would expect healthy, right? Right. right. Healthy's boring usually. This is yummy. Mm -hmm. Lots of flavors. Good. <laughs> that's what oh. we're aiming for, right? Mm hmm. Because most people think your health is your what the food is not so tasty but it always is you know just research is everything mm -hmm. for sure mm. yeah well i'm glad you both love it well i'm gonna head away and make your fabulous drink for dessert mm -hmm. right. mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. so this is it this is our beautiful chocolate almond protein cocoa Yummy. Okay. It looks so good. It is so good. It smells amazing. For those of you guys who can't smell, you need smell a vision. I know. Okay. We need smell a vision, smell don't we? Smell a vision. Yes. I always thought that'd be so cool if a computer had smell a vision. Look at that. Mm. <laughs> Yummy. Mm. Oh, look at it dripping down the side. <laughs> Let's have Dad try it. Oh, wait. I gotta put cream on it. Oh, shoot. Mm -hmm. Now we're adding some cinnamon. Cinnamon. Yummy. I'm not putting almonds on the top because okay. there's almond butter in it. Okay. And so, no, you get to man. taste first, protocol. <laughs> and you could put your pinky out if you want to. Okay. But that, you know, that's not how they do it, actually. That's how they do it. Like this? Mm-hmm. Drink politely. Drink politely. Is it hot? Nope. Mmm. Isn't that good? Honey. How did you describe that taste? <laughs> <laughs> You describe it as pure Fantastic. protein cocoa. Mm. Oh, that's what I taste. Protein, but I taste... It's going to give you energy. It almost tastes like uh, pudding. I know. Yeah. Well, that's, that's a dessert. Yeah. That fantastic. It's, yeah. And, uh -huh. it's, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and it's a little thicker, as you can see. Yeah. Exactly pudding, but... Right. And it actually was thicker, but I added more water. So if you want it thicker, then you could have it thicker. So I added more water to mine. That's a perfect texture. Right yeah. There. Yeah. Money. So thank you for coming to Gigi's Kitchen. I hope you enjoy again what we made for you. And remember, again, your health is your wealth. See you next week. Everybody's been asking me, how can you get all my recipes? You can tell I have built quite a recipe book. Well, you can get them inside of Elevated Legacy and you can get them for free right now. Yeah, just like mom said, you can get it free right now at elevatedlegacy.com. All you gotta do is come down here to the bottom, and get started right here. And then once you click on getting started, you're gonna see an area for a coupon code. You can go ahead and put in positive vibes, just like that. Apply the coupon code. And just like that, as you can see, the coupon code Positive Vibe gives you a free 30-day trial. You pay absolutely nothing when you get started. You proceed to checkout and you go inside of Elevated Legacy. Once you sign up for free, you'll have a login just like this at elevatedlegacy.com forward slash login. You'll go ahead and click on login. Once you log into the back office, you'll see all the different areas right here. What you'll do is you'll go to the Elevated Legacy University. Once you go inside of the Elevated University, you'll go to your Elevated Courses. Click on that. Once you click on the elevated courses, you'll land on this page right here and you click on everything is better in Gigi's kitchen. As you can see, once you click on that, you're going to go into Gigi's entire cooking course and recipes. 
and you're going to come down here and click on any of the lessons that you want. They have a bunch of amazing recipes that you've missed out on so far. So let's say for example you went on Gigi's Tasty Turkey Burgers right there. And as you can see there's a video in here, a full on 22 minute video that you'll get access into for the Gigi's Tasty Turkey Burgers. And this is like this for every single recipe that you'll have access to. And then you'll just scroll down here below and you'll always have the different documents that you need right here. As you can see, Gigi's Turkey Burgers. We'll just go ahead and click on that. Boom, and there you can see it. There's the document right there, Gigi's Famous Turkey Burgers. And just like this show you're watching here right now, you're gonna have the same documents for this show right here and right now that you're watching.